for joining me for this moment of hope. As you can imagine, the um, Diocese of Texas has small churches as well as medium and large churches, just like everybody does. We have a large number of those congregations. I like to say about 100 uh, congregations under 100. I'm not sure that's quite right, but uh, it gives you a sense that we do have some fantastic congregations with much smaller numbers in them. Uh, across our rural areas especially. I got to visit with one of our historic parishes uh, not long ago, a couple months ago, and made a note to myself to share it on my uh, video cast of Hope. So here it is. Uh, we went, we walked around the place and looked at the things that they needed. One of the things that had happened was that they were desperately in need for some more space. They were providing space for an AA group and they were uh, 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 working also to rebuild their uh, fellowship uh, within the church to have uh, restart in-person Bible studies uh, and uh, they needed to do some work on their very small parish uh, house and so uh, we talked about how we might be able to help they got really clear uh, on the things that they needed to do and uh, what happened was a traveling Episcopalian, an Episcopalian who happened to be a handyman, woodworker, uh, uh, came to church, uh, they were talking, uh, he got involved in the project, uh, they paid him, uh, he decided to stay in this little town for a while uh, and help these uh, good Episcopalians out. And, you know, uh, today the AA has a great space uh, to meet in that doesn't leak and the bathrooms work and the parish halls fix and they can meet for Bible study and fellowship. And I just want to say that is an amazing, uh, truly miraculous thing. Not because the bathrooms work and they can meet in the parish hall. What's miraculous is the sharing of needs and the hearing and blessing of other people. This handyman and these, these uh, congregational folk came together and they're the miracles because together they figured out a way to make things uh, better in their congregation. And as you know, how can I not have hope when that's what's happening in the Episcopal Church? I know that amazing things are happening in your congregations, uh, in your life as a member of this church. I hope that, uh, I hope, that's funny, I, uh, I would love uh, to hear about the things that are going great in your part of the world and how you see hope on a weekly basis because of the good things the Episcopal Church is doing. So thanks for sharing. Thanks for joining in on this ministry of hope and for my little uh, video cast.